Hey guys, it's Heather Man here and I have a question for you. Are you getting a lot of pressure from your family or personal relationships? And do you feel they're really getting in the way of your wealth creation? Now, this is a very serious topic and it's one that I sometimes get asked about on how do I deal with this on social media? So I wanna to talk to you about it. So stay tuned and listen to how I'm gonna help you get past this. Hey guys, it's Heather Man here from Fortune Academy. If you've been following my videos before, then you know exactly what I do. I help you retire rich and under 10 years. So if you're new to my YouTube video channel, then please subscribe, please like my video and give it a thumbs up and ring the bell so you have notifications for the next videos like this. Now this topic is really, really close to heart because it's a family-based one. It's a, it's, a, it's a story about how family or loved ones or people you feel are close to you don't really support your actions when it comes to going on a new path, such as financial trading. You know, so this is a commonly asked question by people that join on to Fortune Academy's Forex trainings, professional levels in particular, like the intermediate and the advanced levels when I actually get to meet people face to face. And a problem I often get is from if you are living in a strong culture, now that could be an Asian culture like mine, um, or it could be a very strong Christian or Jewish, or, you know, I've had every background from every world come to me at Fortune Academy and I'm very honored to have worked with all of you and still have them because it's lifetime education. So we have them for as long as they wanna be with me. Um, and my students are amazing. So all my incredible students that are from a very strong cultural background have often relayed the same thing to me, i.e. Yeah, I really want to do Forex, but my husband doesn't like it or my mom or my dad or my sisters or my whole, you know, religious community is against it. Um, it's crazy the stuff I've heard and it's a real big factor because if you've got people that are close to you that don't support you, it's going to affect you on a subconscious level. So it's not healthy and we need to fix this. So how do you do it? Number one, are you an adult? Sounds like a dumb question, but most people don't know what the definition of an adult is. You could be 65 plus and not yet an adult. Now, what defines an adult? An adult is someone that can make their own decisions about anything substantial in life and live out the consequences and take 100% of the responsibility for it. Does that make sense? So you're not asking mom or dad or husband and wife for like, oh, should I do this? And you know, and their approval is everything. Of course, I'm not discouraging you by any means to, to you know, speak and seek counsel, as they say, to your partner or your family or people you, work, you care about. That's important. But if they don't accept what you're doing, who is in charge here? You know, you've got to ask yourself, like, are you the one making the decisions or is it somebody else? Now, the second problem is, if you're using somebody else's money to pay for any type of training or I don't know, education that you might be doing, then that's the issue as well. Because I always want everybody who comes onto my education platform to be fully, fully independent with their finances. So I want them to pay for their training, not their husband or their wife. I'll give you some examples where it goes horribly wrong. So I had a woman who joined my financial trading last year. Okay, so she was like this strong character, and she came from a very strong Indian background and her husband was like this nine to five, really security kind of nine to five, you know, like the most basic of basic jobs. And she was quite a high flyer. So worked in an estate agent and wanted to be like this lavish, fantastic female, independent female, you know, with her own money. She was definitely earning more money than her husband. However, from the looks of it, anyhow. Um, and she said, well, I really want to do this. I want to be like you and she was very nice she came on her own to a trading workshop she came across really really strong and i said i really like you but what's what's the problem with the husband she goes oh he, he doesn't like this stuff he thinks it's all a scam he thinks this that the other and i was like you know what the biggest problem you're going to have with your trading and your performance is going to be linked to what's going on at home i even warned her of this i said if you don't fix that it will come up and surface in 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 the few months afterwards you know and she didn't believe me she's like yeah i'm just i'm a strong woman i can do it and i don't listen to him but the problem with strong cultures is that if you're living within that culture so if you're a strong for example take an asian woman or a strong um even if you're in a catholic 
family, okay, for any reason, if you're like the female in this environment and your male husband is, is uh, someone that you typically subordinate to, that's definitely true with the Indian culture. And what happened was even though she took her stance herself, she paid for it herself, she, she was like, yeah, I'm doing this. And then what happened five, um, probably seven or eight months later, she was making money, but then she got lots of back chat from her husband who was always saying, well, are you, you're not making enough money because he doesn't have a clue about Forex. He doesn't understand what risk management means. And he thinks like a two grand account will become 10 grand by the end of one month. He was putting so much pressure on her that it literally made her tend to want to gamble. She started breaking rules. She started gambling her money away. And then eight months later, I think we're just under a year. She was like, yeah, you know what? My husband doesn't agree with this. I, I just can't do it anymore. It's ridiculous. And I had so many mo moments with her where I actually said to her, look, this is really going to be the problem. Stop listening to your husband and try and be your own woman like you promised me you would be because I did warn you this would be the problem. And cultural issues took over. So I'm telling you guys that this is a horrible, horrible problem and it's going to cause you so much heartache and grief in the coming years if you don't deal with it. So I'm telling you all, please stop following cultural rules for no reason. I want you to really understand who's paying the bills in your house, make sure it's your own money, and in a relationship especially, how to evolve past this problem is have your own money and make those boundaries within that relationship to say, look, this is my money and it's not the family's money, it's my money. Uh, we have some for the family, we have some just for me and just for you and that's okay, you know, and that is how you should do it. And say, what I do with this money is my choice. And similarly, I guess for him, um, but it's not gonna work otherwise, you know? So, and you have to put the boundary to not discuss it with someone who is not supportive. So if you have got a partner in your life that's not supportive of your financial trading or whatever you're doing, e-commerce, crypto, whatever, and if that's a parent, if that's siblings, I would 100% say, please don't discuss it with them. You know, you pay for it, take 100% responsibility for this, but when you are not taking responsibility is when you're gonna go back to them and allow their opinion to be bigger than your own. And that is what's happened for a few people in a strong cultural environment. It is horrible to see. And I have my biggest job as a mentor is bringing these people up as leaders and making them such a leader in their own life that they don't worry about what everybody else thinks, you know, and they're just on their own path. And then the beauty of this is when they start making so much money and I've had the other scenario, the good scenario is that the ones who've listened to me from a strong cultural background, they have listened to my advice where I've said, don't discuss it with XYZ person and do it on your own. And only when you're successful, show them because people will be inspired by your results. And that's exactly what happened to me when I left my job as an optician to become a property developer in 2004. I was buying properties. I pretty much discarded my medical degree uh, in 2004 onwards. And my parents, especially my dad, was devastated. He was a very nine to five thinking, still is a nine to five thinking guy. Bless his heart, great guy, but he was not supportive of anything until one day he saw my bank balance and he was like, mm, can't argue with that. So that's what I've got to say to you guys. You know what? Keep, you have to be used to, if you're breaking out of a cultural stronghold or you've got some sort of uh, problem in the family and dynamics that are keeping you back, my advice is very simple. You're gonna have to go it alone for a little while. Now that could be one year, two years, maybe even three, depending on how long it takes you to be super wealthy, you know? And I got super wealthy in three years. So it doesn't happen overnight. You know, the good thing about Forex is you make money on the first day, but don't start shouting and screaming about it because it may not be enough until you've got consistent records of being profitable, which is why I say give it a year at least. And I would actually say three years to show every year you're profitable, not just the first day, first month, first year. I wanna see three years of profitability, you know, and that's when you can then say, look guys, I'm doing okay. And you, I will 100% mentor you. So if you're having that problem, work with me on the pinnacle or precision levels when it comes to financial trading or better still just come on the millionaire mindset program which is going to be all of the links are below so really really understand that i help you with this problem so don't feel like you're alone i have been there personally i know it's not fun 
but when it works, it's the best thing in the world. And then people are inspired to change and listen to your opinion. So don't worry about forcing them at the beginning look to inspire them in the future with your amazing results. So I hope that advice was useful for you guys. Uh, I really want to help you guys be more savvy in your financial future and literally just feel limitless. And that's why I have my limitless coaching as well. So thank you guys so much for all your help um, and all your support on the social media platforms that I'm on. Follow me on all of them if you haven't already. And also, please, please, please subscribe to my video. Ring the bell. That means you're going to get notifications for every video. I will be covering live topics, business topics, and financial trading topics. So see you in the next video. Bye.